Hi friends, it's me, Miss Maria, and I'm here by myself in the small meeting room at the Mount Airy branch of Carroll County Public Library. So I'm going to take my mask off so that I can talk to you a little bit. Welcome to today's program. Today is part one of a three-part series of something that I'm calling Story Plus Sensory Bin. And I'm pretty excited about this. Um, sensory bins are things that we love to use in story times and teachers often like to use them in their classrooms. But now that we're home more, sensory bins are things that you can make at home with things that you have on hand and the possibilities are endless. So I thought that with each um, of the next three months, I have a, an easy theme and I'll give you some ideas of how you can build a sensory bin at your home. So some reasons why sensory bins are fantastic learning tools for little ones. First of all, it's in the name, sensory bin. So in the bin are things that kids can um, touch and smell and see and hear and just explore with all of their senses. And when they learn with all of their senses, it fires off a lot of those neuron paths and it wakes up their brains in wonderful ways. And we love to do that. The other thing I love about sensory bins is that there is no, it's not a close-ended goal. There's no um, end game. So your little one can just sit and play and do whatever they want with the sensory bin. It's completely between um, the user and the imagination, and, and I love that. So, so let's get started. So just like my sign says... It is getting close to hot chocolate weather. So today's theme is hot chocolate. So before we start, friends, I do have a little song that I would like to sing with you. And it sounds like peanut butter and jelly. So, but it's about hot chocolate. Do you like hot chocolate? Oh, I do. It smells good. It feels warm when you hold it. When you sip it, it's a yummy warm drink that goes here and all the way down to your belly and it tastes delicious. So my song goes like this. So hot chocolate. First you take the packet and you rip it. You rip it. First you take the packet and you rip it. You rip it. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Then you take the packet and you pour it. You pour it. Then you take the packet and you pour it. You pour it. Good. Hot chocolate, hot chocolate, hot chocolate, hot chocolate, good. Next you add the water and you stir it, you stir it. Next you add the water and you stir it, you stir it. Hot chocolate, hot chocolate, hot chocolate, hot chocolate. Mm. Now you hug your mug, now you hold your mug and you blow, you blow. Now you hold your mug and you blow, you blow. Hot chocolate, hot chocolate, hot chocolate, hot chocolate, yay. And lastly, then you take your mug and you sip it. You sip it. Next, you take your mug and you sip it. You sip it. Hot chocolate, hot chocolate, hot chocolate, hot chocolate. Yay! Thank you for singing with me, friends. I love when you sing along with me. So before I show you my sensory bin, we are going to read a few pages from a book that I found that does mention hot chocolate and it has a lot of great sensory images and thoughts in it. And it's called Winter is the Warmest Season by Lauren Stringer. I wonder why the author is saying winter is the warmest season. Do you think it is? Yeah, usually I'm cold in the winter. Let's see what the author says. As I open this up, I want to show you, what is that? It is a cup of hot chocolate. And the author's me message says, did you know that of all seasons in the year, winter is the warmest? Why do you think that is? Maybe, let's see, let's see. Winter is the warmest season. Does this look warm or cold? It looks cold. Most people think it's summer with its long, steamy days, but not me. 
My world is warmest in winter. When winter comes, my jacket puffs warm with feathers. My hat grows ear flaps. My pants hide deep in fuzzy boots. Can you feel all that? The coat and the hat and the boots. And my hands wear warm, wooly gloves. When winter comes, summer animal, summer's plants and animals sleep deep under thick blankets of snow, while the snowmen I build dance on top wearing warm wraparound scarves. When winter comes, my iced summer's milk turns to, you guessed it, hot chocolate. Cold jelly sandwiches turn into grilled cheese. Oh, one of my favorites. Hot soups, hot pies, and oven hot breads make winter the warmest season for the inside of me. Oh, can you think of some warm foods that you like? Mmm, I love warm pasta. I love warm grilled cheese. Even nights are warmer in winter. Fires burn in the fireplace. Candles burn in candle places. And when summer's cool swims turn into winter's hot baths. I love that. Summer's cool swims turn into winter's hot baths. I know my pajamas will grow big, warm feet. Do your pajamas have feet like this? Sometimes. What do they feel like? Yeah. Let's see. My bed is warmest in winter, piled high with blankets of plaid, piled high with blankets of plaid, blankets striped yellow, and a blue starry quilt on top. What do things feel like for you when you cuddle into your bed? I love to be warm too and all snuggled up. Wow, what a wonderful book. It had a lot of senses in this book. Winter is the warmest season. All right, friends, so lastly, I have with me a hot chocolate sensory bin and I'm going to show it to you. I'm gonna hold it up here. And friends, all I used to make this was some chocolate puff cereal some cotton balls, some measuring cups, um, some cups to play with, a funnel, and some things to stir. Let me just give you a quick demonstration of why sensory bins are so fun. First of all, ever since I made this, the office has smelled like chocolate, so how fun is that? Um, you don't have to use exact items. For instance, these are supposed to be marshmallows, but they're actually cotton balls, right? So they feel nice. Um, cups, kids love to just dig and scoop and then mix and then the funnel. It's kind of fun to see how quickly the pieces funnel out of the hole at the bottom. So if you can hear, feel. But this sounds really neat. I did choose this kind of cereal because the sound, it makes a very cool sound. It makes a very cool sound. Friends, the great thing about sensory bins is you can make it as simple or as elaborate as you want. Sometimes it's fun if they have like a color theme, like this one um, is mostly white and blue items. And you don't have to go with exact items. It's fun to come up with really cool substitutes. For instance, like the cotton balls for the marshmallows. Um, it's really up to you and your imagination. So, um, and the nice thing about sensory bin, when your little one is done, you can just cover it up and save it for another day. But as you can see, there's a lot here to play with and to explore. Maybe someone will serve you a cup of hot chocolate, but you could feel free to use cocoa beans. Um, I've seen different types of things. The internet is always a wonderful place for ideas for sensory bins, but hopefully you can find one that you like that works with, with things that you have on hand. And I want to thank you for joining me for my first go around with Story Plus Sensory Bin. I hope to see you next month when our theme will be snow. So until then, friends, have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoy a cup of hot chocolate and I will see you soon. Bye bye.